Is that clock right? That clock? Always right. Always right on time. Okay, because my, uh, my watch stopped working, and I have to be uh, out of here in 15 minutes. Can you shave me that? <laughs> 15 minutes? Easy, easy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that scarf has got to go. Oh, fussy one, aren't you? <laughs> You're a busy man, I can tell that much. A very busy man, I Yes, just... I have a meeting at 610. Ooh. That thing across the street, I hear there's going to be an awful lot of very important men there. A lot. Mm -hmm. It's I going to have to be fine. Man. It's going to have to be really fine shave. Uh -huh. well, don't you worry about a thing. You won't even notice the difference. Country. Yes, Southerner. And you? Uh, I've traveled around so much, I don't even know if I'm a Southerner or a Northerner anymore. Although I did live in a little town near Savannah for a year or so. Really? Huh? So did I. <laughs> I know. I used to see you there. You never came into my shop, but I'd see you. And I moved to Philadelphia. Really? What year? Hmm. Let's see. It was, um, April. Six years ago. <laughs> April six years ago. <laughs> Damn, I went to Philly the same month. I know. So you're there, too. Well, one might have thought you'd been following me the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you been a barber all your life? Well, a man only gets to be good at one thing in a lifetime. Ain't it the truth? Man, when that meeting's over, oh, I'm just gonna leave the country and I cannot wait to just sit under the sun and be damn good at doing a whole hell of a lot of nothing. You don't mind, Dad? Uh, where are you going? I don't know. Why, well, are you gonna follow me there too? <laughs> Eventually, yes. You know, people say that life is too short. But I think that life is a very, very long road with a lot of different How much longer? That... You want me to shave you or not? Yeah. Nice weather we're having. Mm, yeah. Yeah, but we could use a little bit more rain for the dogs. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, the old lady who takes care of those dogs, I swear, the way they scamper about it, it's like they're her little I don't children. care, I just want to be shaved. All right, all right, don't worry. I always keep my promises. Like back in Savannah, when my little daughter, before, uh, before she died, <laughs> I promised her that uh, I would, um... I, I don't give a damn about your daughter. No. I didn't think you did. And my time is up. Don't do that, sir. You don't know how close you just came to cutting yourself. You said that you would shave me in 15 minutes. But I didn't say anything about the lathering. Ah! Oh, fuck! What are you doing? <laughs> No, sir. Never question a man with a razor in his right hand. Now, if I really wanted to cut you, I'd 
do it nice and quick, like uh, like this. Oh, this. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go to my meeting. Forget about the lather. Forget it. To use your words, I don't give a damn about your meeting. I'll give you ten dollars. A thousand dollars, if you let me go. Oh, yeah. Now you're bargaining. That's always what you've been best at. Do you recognize me yet? Recognize you? <laughs> Look at me. Look closely. I don't know you. Yeah. Waiting can do that to a man. Six years of waiting can put an awful lot of wrinkles on a man's face and make his hair an awful lot grayer. So, think about it. John! I used to live in Savannah. No. No, no, no. You can't be. Say it. Can't be. Say it. Kill her. So many times. I've been waiting for this moment. One time in Muscatine, you came in and there was a man sitting in the chair. So you turned around and went right back out. Then in Louisville, you walked in. You walked right over the threshold and you just looked at your watch. You went out again. But I always knew there would be a day when you'd come in here and sit in my chair. Give me a chance, Gilbert. Just give me a chance. You never gave Jenny a good chance, did you? She loved you. She was devoted to you. But she was just another toy to you. You used her. You, you threw her away into the gutter where she died. I sold the ring to buy this shop. I'll, I'll, I'll marry her now, Kilburn. <laughs> Christ, call her. I'll even ask. <laughs> John, you'll be able to ask her right to her face in just two minutes. What is it? Kilburn? John! When you come to the end of your time on this earth and you start to make that crossing and your eyeballs glaze over, you still won't be as close to death as you were just now. You're not going to kill me. Would it bring her back? But then why? You'll remember why. Now look, we gotta make sure that you look perfect for your big meeting. My meeting? My meeting? You son of a bitch, you ruined me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> now John, did you really think 
think I'd not kill you and then let you just leave with everything? Stupid, didn't you? You thought I'd give you the real time of the meeting. It doesn't actually start until 6.30. Is that all? That clock. That damned clock. <laughs> it's always half an hour slow. Oh, God. 